Sophia, what did you find out today? Well, Clovis police tell me a lot of the threats stem from kids who are feeling bullied or alone. They say that parents or guardians having a close relationship with our kids can really make a difference. We take those very seriously and there are very serious consequences if you do make those threats. There have been more than 530 mass shootings so far this year in the U.S., according to Gun Violence Archive. That's a nonprofit corporation that provides information about gun-related violence. Some of those deadly. That's why Clovis Police Department says it doesn't take any threat lightly. We treat every threat like it's credible, like it's real, and we investigate every allegation. About 20% of students 12 through 18 years old experience bullying nationwide, according to StopBullying.gov. That's why Lieutenant Craig Arnaz says parents should be checking on their kids if they notice anything might be off. Biggest thing is just spending time with them, talking to them. Uh, don't, don't be scared, don't be worried to, to sit down with them. Um, engage with them, see how the school's doing. But the biggest thing is just to make sure just to, to monitor and see any other abnormal behavior. Some questions you should be asking as a parent or guardian include. Is, is everything okay? Is there anything that is troubling you? Uh, any issues at school in related sports related to school or the friends? Central Unified School Thanks. District and Fresno it's Unified serious. School District both made videos in the past couple of years about hoax threats. Hey. I wouldn't post that if I were you. Why well, I'm just screwing around. Some things they wanted to bring attention that could be a serious crime. This is why Clovis Police Department is asking parents or any community members, if you see something, say something. Social media is very popular with the, uh, the high schools and the kids nowadays, so um, there's a lot of obviously bullying and, and other things that come into play with social media. When adults quickly respond consistently to bullying behavior, they send a message that it's not acceptable, according to StopBullying.gov. All right, Sophia, so if somebody wants to remain anonymous but would like to report a threat, what do they do? Well, Monty, for people who want to remain anonymous, they can call the Valley Crime Stoppers at 559-498-STOP or submit a tip at valleycrimestoppers.org. All right. Monty? Good advice, Sophia. Thank you. Well, it was just last week we also reported sports events were canceled at some schools. That was in Kern County as a result of threats of violence that's following a deadly shooting earlier in the week.